how to stop being a doormat in your relationship. Hi everyone, I'm Yvonne, your marriage and divorce coach here at Black Song Relationship Academy. And today we're going to look at how to stop being a doormat in your relationship. You know, here's the thing. We have relationships that happen to us wherever we go, whether it's at work or at home, just walking down the street, just speaking to somebody. It's a relationship that's going on, albeit it's just a brief one. But the relationship we're going to look at today is for you who you're in a long term relationship, whether you're um, married or not, you're in a relationship nonetheless. And you're now tired of the way in which you're being treated. Something has triggered this because before you were enabling the behavior and today you've decided, you know what, I don't want this anymore. I don't want to be treated this way. So first of all, let me say well done for realizing that something is wrong. And the fact now that you realize something is wrong, there are things that you can do about it, things that can help you to turn this around because it really can be. It hasn't got to the stage yet where, you know, no one's looking to pack their bags and go. But we just need to make a few tweaks in this so that the relationship can continue from now on uh, to be healthy and loving in every area. You know, when you got together and you probably put a list of your non-negotiables together, no two non-negotiables with um, people are the same because what works for me may not work for somebody else and what doesn't work, um, you know, uh, for them may work for me. So all of us are different. So if you haven't written a list of non-negotiables that you want from uh, your spouse um, or your partner, then I suggest that's, you know, one of the things that you can do. Write a list of the things that you will accept and the things that you won't. And the things that, you know what, this one you can let slide. It's, um, you know, this one definitely not. And once you've written your list and you've had a look at it, then look at the situation in, you know, um, your household and look at what on your list is being met. Look at the things on it that is being done. If when you look at it, that more um, is not being done in that, you know, than there are being done, then you need to address that. And one of the ways in which you can go about doing this is that you can give yourself permission to love you give yourself permission to not show up for everything give yourself permission to take care of you because if you don't take care of you then who's going to do it because if you don't love you who's going to love you and when we don't love and take care of ourselves then that enables the person around us to talk to us and to treat us anyhow there are some uh, relationships out there that are so toxic that, you know, um, there is nothing that you can say or nothing that you can do that is going to cause your spouse to change their behavior. And the only thing that I can advise if that is you is to, you know, get in contact with a therapist, contact somebody who you can speak to, who will be able to help you to navigate, um, you know, that that is going on in your home that may be able to turn your life around or, you know, give you the tools that will help you to adjust to a better way of living because uh, there is. Here at Black Swan Relationship Academy, we have a, um, a system called a Soulmate Attraction Course. And it is a course that helps us to navigate who we are. It teaches us how to love ourselves and to love on us so that, you know, when um, somebody sees you and you're confident and your life is, you know, going really wonderful that confidence and that self-love that you have inside you that's translated on the outside and people see that and they want to be a part of that they want to be with that girl who's the um you know not necessarily the life and soul of the party and you know but it's the girl who is quietly confident and she just goes about and it looks almost like she's floating on air you know we all have that person that we see them and when we we see them we think 
I want to be her. There's my bestie does that. She there's this air about her. And when she smiles and she's in your presence, you know that your world is a better place for having her in it. And that when I see her and see the way in which she operates, I want to have a little bit of that which she wants. And what I'm saying to you is today that you can have that. Um, check out the Soulmate Attraction course online to see how it can help you. It's, uh, um, you know, it's designed to help you to turn your life around and not just to turn your life around, but to take you um, in a direction that you didn't think was going to be possible for you. So I, you know, do recommend you check that out and you never know, you might find something very uh, useful there. But here's another thing that you can do is that you um, should stop allowing somebody to live your life for you and what I mean by that is you're happy when your spouse is happy you're sad when they're sad if they go out then you go out if they don't go out then you stay home whatever they do then it is okay for you to do it it's almost like you have no life outside of them and I wanted to tell you, there is a world out there that is waiting for you to arise and shine because you are the light of the world. You are the somebody's light. And all you need to do is just re-engage with you to find that light because everyone is looking for that person. So what I would advise you to do is, as I said to number one, love yourself, not just to... Um, when I say love yourself, what does that mean? Because that may, um, you know, you may not understand what I'm talking about. But loving yourself is what do I want today? And whatever it is I want, then I'm going to do it because I want it. You know, you're, um, let's say you're getting ready for dinner and you know your boo loves steak. So you're looking for a piece of steak for him. I want you to stop and ask yourself, what do I want? What do I like? What's my favorite food? It's something simple, but what's my favorite food? And let's say my favorite food is a mushroom risotto. I love risotto after years of not wanting to eat it. I finally love them. And why not make a mushroom risotto for dinner this evening? Why should it be steak? I'm not saying don't do steak for your boo, but today what I want you to do is do something that is going to bring joy to your heart. Do something that you're going to want to do. You might have been at work today and somebody said, let's go out, but your um, you know, spouse isn't doing uh, anything and he just wants to stay at home. So you don't go with the friends, you stay home. Today, say yes, I'll come with you. You know, we're going for a drink, yeah. I'll go with you. Um, they're going to the cinema. Yeah, I wanted to see that film. I'll come with you. Do something that is going to bring joy to your life. Not just do something that is going to bring joy for one day and you don't do it again for another year. I mean, it's something that you schedule in for yourself. You know, when you come home from work and you've had a hard day, and you just want to, uh, you know, all that's on your mind is let me get dinner, let me, let me, let me. Life gets in the way and the next thing you know, you're in bed. No, when you get home, the world is not going to end if you decide I'm going to take a long bath. I'm going to put all the smellies in there, put the candles up and just relax for half an hour. No one's going to die. Everyone's going to be OK, but do that for you. And if they're knocking on the door, I'll be out soon. Ignore them. They'll be OK. Enjoy your time in the bath. Enjoy loving on you. If you like chocolates and it's something that, you know, does your heart good, then go and buy the biggest box of truffle that you can find. And when you're on the sofa watching a movie, open your box and enjoy a few. Don't eat the whole box, just take it easy 
and just eat a few at a time and enjoy them. Do something for you that is going to bring joy to your heart and keep doing it. Make a list of the things that you want to do, the places that you want to go. And, you know, um, grab your girlfriend or grab a friend, even your spouse, and say, you know what, instead of doing this at the weekend, I'd like us to do this. And make arrangements around some of the things that you want to do. Are you being selfish? No, you're loving you because you have spent all this time dedicated to other people and you've forgotten to take care of you. Now is the time to take care of you. And once you start doing that, once you start loving on yourself, you're going to smile differently. You're going to walk differently because you're doing things that you enjoy. And people will see that. And when they see you enjoying yourself, they're going to want to know, do you know, just all the endorphins that's going on in your body, you know, it makes you walk differently. It makes you smile differently and people want to be around you. And not only do they want to be around you, but they want to treat you well. Because when you're down, they believe they can be down on you. But when you're happy and you're joyful and things are just going right, and even if you've had a bad day at work, but you come home and you're happy because you bought something for yourself, you treated yourself to something to make up for an awful day, you know, that everything that went wrong at work and you come home with joy and you open the door with a smile on your face and your spouse sees that they can't be down on you when you're smiling and being you know joyful that is attractive that people want to be part of that people want to engage with that and that is what we're wanting to do is to engage our spouses and our partners with the joy that is in our heart so if I've said anything that resonates with you, send me a DM. Um, or if you haven't already, um, subscribe, like, share, leave me a comment. I'd love to hear from you. Until we meet again next Saturday, have a great week. Have a great time taking care of you and loving on you. I'd love to hear in your comments about some of the things that you took yourself out to and the things that you did to show yourself some love during the week. Have a great week, everyone. Take care. Bye.